Hi everyone, my name's Mark. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. I've shown many times that the whole earth is mapped out and shows all about the end of the age, matching Bible scripture perfectly. Africa here, as you can see, is in the shape with the little horn right here. In the Bible they talk of the New World Order being as the little horn that rises up for World War III and such. Now I've shown around the world that even these county lines or state lines if you will or regional lines of each country they actually draw out exactly what's coming. They have a big thing about imagery and the idolatry around here. This is Africa turned over with south as north now. You can see the yellow lines right here. And here in the Bible it talks of at the end of the age a great deception coming upon the earth and the new world order and a mark of the beast. This right here is showing a pope right here doing the mark of the beast on a man's head. There has been much discussion of how can like a Catholic church or an Orthodox church actually be doing the mark of the beast when it's in the Bible. How are they doing this? It's all part of it. The Catholic church and if you read the Bible, well, everybody has read some of it, I'm sure, to some extent or something, or heard some of it, but there's a section about the seven churches. All of the earth, I don't care which church you're in, you're part of one of those seven. The Catholic Church is known as the Church of Thyatira. There's no eight churches, there's no number nine churches, you cannot go make a special certain church. There are only seven angels of the seven churches. If you go to any church, whatever it's called, you belong to one of those churches. The Catholic Church is considered the Church of Thyatira. It says right in the Bible they're going to go to the time of the testing. Right there. A Catholic priest or an Orthodox priest doing the mark of the beast. Very easy to see. Now also in the Bible it talks of the leopard, the man of perdition. The last man of perdition was Judas. He betrayed Jesus Christ. The man of perdition will betray the world. He will betray America. And he's known as the leopard of the Bible. Here he is, right here. There's the leopard with the priest. They're doing things with this Eucharist. In Daniel, it talks about a host being cast down. And this is called a host. The Catholic Eucharist is has nothing to do with the Bible. This is a Babylon host cracker that has been actually transfigured through magic and witchcraft. It can actually have demons in it. It's called a host. And they do it through the rays of the sun. It's that's The priest stands right up there and chants and does a spell on the host. Jesus didn't do that. Jesus did the Passover cedar. You're supposed to do the Passover. All of us are on the Passover cedar. There you go. Or take the communion in remembrance. Do you see the leopard? The Catholic priest? The man taking the Eucharist? and getting the mark of the beast all on his head right there. Now the leopard is also going to they're going to have a thing where they're going to be working with Russia. It's all a great deception. It's all set up for all of that. America is going to be betrayed. Now it's the bear. Do you see the bear? And there's the bear with the Orthodox and Catholic priest applying the mark of the beast 
and doing the host, the communion. All that right there. This isn't done just by human beings. This is done by the spiritual world that not many people believe in. The smartest guy on earth here is not half as smart as what the spirits have got going on. And humans are known as a host. The spiritual world controls everything. There we go right there. The bear, the Catholic priest, or the Orthodox uh, Pope, whatever, doing the mark of the beast with the host. All matching scripture. And America will be betrayed by the leopard. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. It's all real. Thank you very much, everybody. It's all right there in front of us for all to see. I'll dig into this more and pull some more out of there. But it's all real and it's all right there. <laughs>